Okay, good morning. Back again with the Light Sears Tarot, and this is for Friday, January 12th. And sometimes these readings are just a lesson in what the cards mean or some soul support uh, messages coming through. But I love the artwork in this deck. <laughs> so anyway, what do you guys need to know for today is the question. Ooh, we have the Hermit and uh, coming through upright. So this is our card for contemplation, going within. I... So soul searching, self searching, self discovery, <gasps> and we have the temperance again. Wow, two majors. That's that's incredible. Okay, what else? Oh, and we have the eight of cups reversed. And we had that yesterday, but over here. So okay. So with the hermit. Again, like I was saying, soul searching, going within, knowing that your light's within. You don't even have to climb to the top of a mountain. You just have to go within. Right? <laughs> you don't have to go hide out in a cave or, you know, stay for a while in a cave with a bunch of monks and then climb up to another area and do something there with some other spiritual masters. You just have to go within. Continue to go within. And don't be afraid of finding whatever it is that's within you because we will bump up against our, our lower selves, uh, our negativity. We'll bump up against all kinds of things that say, you know, like, this is a waste of time. I've got stuff to do. Our egoic, um, you know, fragmentation will have quite a, quite a, uh, uh, oh, what's the word? an agenda <laughs> to keep you from going within, right? So with the hermit by now, you guys, I'm sure have learned that your the, the, um, the key to your freedom is by going within and uh, because it came through upright. So this is a beautiful card of uh, enlightenment. A beautiful card of solitude. So it's probably a, a really good morning for meditation, trusting your guts, and uh, and then setting the energy for the entire day. And that really is the way we should be um, uh, setting every day up, is to start with meditation. And what do we want to accomplish and how do we... Now, how do we want to experience our day? And then the temperance card. I love this card. It, this is a card that brings through the law of mutuality, where two things coming together. If you have a yes and a yes to the universe, there's a, instead of a no and a yes, you have a yes and a yes to the universe, then a third thing is created. So it's either... Uh, well, it could be anything, any form of creation that comes through uh, has been connected already with the spiritual realm. And that's, you know, that's one of those things that I tend to forget myself is to remember that everything I'm working on creating here on earth is already created in the spiritual realm for me. It's just a matter of me doing the work to bring it through here. And we have to continue to believe in ourselves. This card is ruled by Sag, so it's all about belief systems and most of all, believing in yourself. And, uh, you know, to use our positive self-assertion to motivate us into the, the actions that are needed to move towards our vision. And, and that brings the inner fulfillment. Uh, so if we align with our inner forces and, and we, then we're going to just naturally know best, like when to work and when to rest. And we'll keep things, you know, temperate, moderate, balancing out the, the soul substance. But, you know, a, a lot of times um, the most important thing to focus on is your yes to life. Because when you're aligned with your, your yes, that that inner life force within, I, usually it's bringing through more positive pleasure in your life and it'll bring through experiences of feeling at one with life and, and it 
you're at one with yourself. So of course you're going to be at one with life. And uh, these, you know, these these positive yes currents where life is just always meeting you, coming towards you and meeting you, it's always there. We just have to be careful about pushing it away. So I... Uh, the only way we can mess this up, now it didn't come through reverse, so I don't think there, that we're there, but the only way we can mess this up is to uh, stick with our emotional reactions that say, you know, I don't have it, whatever it is, right? And and, and I don't want to meet the pain of have, not having it either. I just kind of want to be pissed off in life and, and blame, <laughs> right? <laughs> So as long as we're working on the distortions, we're, if we're working on, uh, you know, when, when, you're, when you're working on manifesting, so much of the work, at least with my clients, well, I think anybody could attest to this, that when we're working on manifesting something, that we're, what we're really primarily working on is the blocks and the obstacles to having it, whatever it is. So the, this, I think, is what the temperance is uh, primarily about as well as to work on those distortions and keep opening up to life so there's yes coming in from both sides from you and the universe your guides and guardian angels are all already your higher self is already there you know waiting for you to just have it but you have to have it inside of you before you actually have it in your outer world right you can't have you can't get self-respect from somebody else right? You can't, you can't get love without wanting to love back. You can't get love from the outside without loving yourself first. We can't get abundance if we're believing in lack, right? You just can't because lack creates, lack attracts more lack, right? Uh, fear attracts more fear, so admitting where we're stuck in these distortions is always, that's always an act of love because it's, um, it helps us get clear. And there's so much around, clear, you know, getting to the clear place in the temperance card. So with the Eight of Cups reversed, I'm, in the evening, I'm thinking that some somebody is probably just feeling like they, well, you know what, on some level, I think on the best level, the best message with this combination here, because it's really interesting, uh, but I'm thinking that the best level is that you're having such an awesome time in meditation and working on clearing the way so that you're manifesting what you want, that you're avoiding, oh God, I've been there before lots of times, where you're meditating and doing your inner work so much that you're forgetting about your uh, outer life. I used to do this years ago. I, I'll never forget that one day I was sitting there meditating, and I think I was going on about my fourth hour. You know, of course, you stop and pee and do all the other stuff you got to do, but then you get sit back down and you're meditating. And, and I was just really just surrendering my will to God and, you know, what do you want me to do? And, and then all of a sudden, like, it was about the fourth hour. <laughs> and I heard this voice, what do you want? <laughs> It's time for you to be God in your life. And, and so there's a, there's a perfect example of, you know, a, a period that I, I needed to be more active because there's some avoidance with this Eight of Cups here. There's some uh, fear of change going on. And sometimes, too, the Eight of um, Cups can be some low self-esteem. It can be a lot like the Five of Cups, I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles, uh, straight up, where where there's a, a self-esteem issue, and y and you're stuck in it. So if you're saying no to yourself, there's some soul substance that's needing balanced out. So how about maybe the simple message for today is just to go within, and you, of course the meditation, contemplate, all of that is great. Trust your gut, go within, and say yes to yourself. 
How about it's a day of saying yes to myself, yes to, yes to life, yes, yes to yourself. <laughs> how about that? Okay. Thanks, you guys. Take good care. Let me know how you're doing. Bye.